this video will show you how to do an explain or describe question in Nat 5 Modern Studies. So an explain or describe question will ask, explain or describe in detail. These questions are worth four, six or eight marks. A four mark question will ask you to do two P paragraphs. A six mark question will ask two detailed P paragraphs and an 8 mark question will ask 3 P paragraphs. You will be asked this type of question on different topics that you have studied in class, like world powers, which is terrorism, crime and law, and democracy in the UK. You must use your own knowledge that you've learned in class. To answer an explain or describe question, you will use the P paragraph method. P stands for point, so this will be one sentence using the wording of the question, including the point you will be writing about. Explain. So explain the point you've mentioned and why it links to the question. And example. So this is a statistic or an example situation like a case study that links to the point. Here is an example of a P paragraph. So point. A cause of crime is alcohol and drugs. Explain. As when people are under the influence, they behave or react differently and can act more aggressively. This could lead them to causing a crime. Example. For example, half of Scotland's prisoners said they were drunk when they committed their offence. Using the P paragraph we've already made on the previous slide, we can answer the question Describe in detail three different factors that cause a crime. This question is worth eight marks. So another paragraph you could use to answer the question could be, a cause of crime is gender. Males are more likely to commit crime as they're told to man up and take more risks. For example, 95% of prisoners are male. And another paragraph you could use to answer this question could be Another cause of crime is poverty, as being in poverty may lead you to committing crimes. For example, Glasgow has high poverty rates and crime rates, showing that poverty and crime links. An example of a question you could be asked about terrorism is Describe in detail three ways in which people have been affected by an international conflict you have studied. This question is worth six marks. So an international conflict is terrorism. So at the start of your answer, you must put the international conflict I have studied was terrorism. So an example paragraph for this question is one way people have been affected by terrorism is loss of life. This is a social consequence and is most likely the worst outcome to happen to a victim of a terrorist attack. Their family and friends will also face severe mental health issues and emotional distress because of this trauma. For example, the Manchester Arena bombing in 2017 had 22 fatalities. Another paragraph that you could use to answer this question could be Another way people have been affected by terrorism is poverty. This is an economic consequence. Certain attacks, such as bombings, can destroy homes, leaving many homeless, and there is often a link between poverty levels and terrorism. For example, in Nigeria, which is ranked number 7 in the Global Terrorism Index, 61% of the population are in poverty. Another paragraph you could use to answer this question could be Another way people have been affected by terrorism is by fear. This is a social consequence. Many attacks cause fear and panic. As the person has been through a traumatic event, this can make the individual's life more stressful. For example, the media can provide 24-hour reporting about a terrorist attack. This can make people panic about future attacks. When answering a six-mark question, 
make sure it is in detail. A democracy question you could be asked is Describe in detail two devolved matters the Scottish Parliament has responsibility for. This question is worth four marks, meaning you will do two P paragraphs. An example paragraph you could use to answer this question is The Scottish Parliament have responsibility for the devolved matter of education, as MSPs can discuss and make changes to the education system in Scotland. For example, in Scotland, we set national five and higher exams, and in England, they set GCSEs and A-levels. Another paragraph you could use to answer this question could be, the Scottish Parliament also have responsibility for the devolved matter of policing. As in Scotland, we are in control of our police system and how it is run. For example, Police Scotland was established in 2013 and have brought together the different police services across the country, making it easier for them to communicate. Thank you for watching this video on how to answer an explain or describe question. If you have any more questions on how to answer this, you can ask your class teacher who will be happy to help.